the knowledge graph and the semantic web. The graph connects real world objects with taxonomies, ontologies, and data into a knowledge graph. And these hierarchical and the non-hierarchical structures really work together as part of the knowledge graph. Content can be connected to other content and taxonomies and ontologies are part of the overall graph defining a common language of language of labeled concepts, properties, and relationships. So to look at this another way, we have an ontology which visualizes concepts, subjects, and objects connected by relationships, predicates, or verbs. And these relationships can be hierarchical, they can be equivalent, they can be associative. Um, all of these, and these, and, and this associative relationships are, again, like a rhizome. And those relationships connect to real world content, external content. All of these things are identified by unique URIs as defined in the semantic web. And what we have is a knowledge graph. So this is my quote. This is my estimation. Knowledge graphs are the realization of the semantic web, at least in microcosm. They are non-hierarchical, decentralized. They're rhizomatic. Remember what we said at the beginning? Semantic web was about two things, common formats for integration and combining data. And it's about the language for recording how the data, and it's connecting all these servers and databases together. So. Knowledge graphs, I'm, I contend, are the, the current status of the semantic web. They're designed with intent, they disseminate information, all of these shared properties. Again, apolitical or political, maybe not, but they share, the knowledge graphs in the semantic web share these, these features. So, it's a lot easier to destroy, I think, via the splinter net than it is to build the semantic web. So what does the future hold? Um, Maybe making fiefdoms of localized knowledge is better than not building them at all. Others can be convinced to use these data sources if they're made available on a decentralized platform. Uh, knowledge bases made public help to prevent the death of ex expertise, right? Actual or societal. And WTRDF, um, can we learn to use the current standards or we can find another simpler standards which would encourage us to adopt and share? Uh, I think personally decentralization would be a pillar of future work and knowledge. The infrastructure already exists in the distributed internet. We've seen this in the pandemic. It's resulted in a push toward even more decentralized work. The disruption of centralized supply chains will probably likely result in more local production of goods. Um, and cryptocurrency and blockchain are inherently decentralized. And I think they're gonna have more of a play in um, the way we do things 